you know, I didn't even know I was this entrepreneur in camouflage in a sense, right? This undercover yeah, entrepreneur yeah, yeah. because yeah. I just looked around me and everything was just didn't make sense. Like, why are people doing this? Why do they care about that? Why are they wasting one hour just chatting in the lunchroom while I yeah. was sitting on my computer trying to read the data and the research, trying to find some way to grow more or developing something? So it's just this obsessiveness, which was lacking. And I felt very alone in this corporate environment with yeah. everybody around me, which were kind of just, I don't know, they just didn't have the gears in, in the same way, right? So that was kind of the main reason I quit. My dad died when I was 40. Yeah, I was like, you know, traveled over to the US because it was there at the time. And I saw him in the morgue lying on the table. Yeah, And it was like, I just remember that moment, like life is short, you know, yes. life is yes. precious. Yes, And yeah. that's when I actually woke up. That's when mm -hmm. I woke up and I realized, shit, what do I want to do this life? Where do I want to be in five years? So I was really good with my companies and my brands. I made the strategy, the BHOG. I made the vision, the mission, the yeah. goals, broke it down to objectives and key results and you know the OKRs and all that shit. So I had like full control on the business. But in my own life, I was just floating around in life uh, without any purpose, without any, you know, I didn't know myself well enough. So mm -hmm. I kind of had this, uh, let's call it a self-revolution where I realized yeah. shit and I actually just pumped everything into a Google sheet, everything I was doing. And I realized I was doing a lot of shit that I didn't like doing yeah. things that were not something that was natural for me. Like take a thing like, like having kids, right? Mm -hmm. you have an environment, all the dads around you, they're all playing soccer. Yeah. Let's say you hate soccer as a dad. Yeah. You can't yeah. stand it. And you look around at everybody playing soccer and then your wife is saying, hey, shit, why don't you do like other dads? They're playing soccer with their kids. Yeah, yeah. So suddenly you're, you're forced to do something with your kids, that you which is soccer, do. just because yeah. you're in, uh, I don't know, Italy that or Manchester yeah. United where there's yeah. this soccer environment. Well, you love tennis, right? So you're going yep. doing something with your kids, thinking that the only way to be a good dad is to actually play soccer. Well, you can, all you have to do is basically introduce the tennis racket yep. And, yep. and teach your son tennis racket. Maybe is the next Bern Borg or Nadal anyway. Yep. And and yep. you will enjoy that practice. So that was a lot of my life was doing things just because it was kind of expected of me or yes. I had these responsibilities, especially since I was working a lot in my job as well. Yes. And I just said, fuck this, F this, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I started dumping everything and I started thinking, shit, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Why am I working for a paycheck? Why don't I start my own business? I, I can do this. I have the knowledge now. I have the experience working for others, launching several brands. Now is the time to go. I'm 40. Yes. If I wait until I'm 50, yes. I won't have the same energy, right? My dad didn't exactly. have the same energy. He started yeah. business when he was 48. Yeah. And yeah. I still remember telling him, Sigurd, I started too late. I should have started when I was 40, not when I was 48. Mm -hmm. Because you just age just somehow, you know. Yeah, has yeah. an extra gear when you're younger and the more you you age the less energy you have but that was a big lesson so for me it was like okay i went to my work i resigned mm -hmm. and i basically started i traveled told my wife hey i'm traveling to egypt i need some sun alone yes, Start yes, thinking yes. about an idea and i wanted to work online why because i wanted to travel i, I didn't want to be restricted to one location so yes, yes i took charge of my life and I started designing my life, but I had no clue how to get there yet, right? I was just thinking vision and mission. Yep. And I think there's so many people that don't do that in life. I mean, I'm not saying you have you don't have to be a millionaire. You don't have to be an entrepreneur. But just being a human being, yeah. you need to know what you want to be happy, right? Yeah.